Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, it's a, let's see if I can catch some of these clouds. Yeah, it's like a stormy, cloudy, disruptive day here in Florida. And um, I kind of like it because it kind of helps with the topic that we're talking about today, which is worry. And uh, it kind of sets the mood and the tone for what we're going to be chatting about. I was stumbling across a, uh, a verse this morning that kind of just struck me and I posted it up on Facebook. And um, I just wanted to talk about it today. It's about worry and it's a verse that we all know. Um, it's Matthew 6.34. Just fix this for me. There we go. Perfect. So Matthew 6.34 says, uh, So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself, right? Tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. And I, I love that um, sentiment. And uh, I was looking around. I'm walking over to this. I'm kind of in this little covered spot now, so I don't get soaked. But I was walking over here, and I was thinking about worry, thinking about, like, the day and check out some of these clouds right so we've got this kind of dark gray day today and I was thinking about um, just how in life we have these days that are like today that are just dark and troublesome and they make us a little more weary than usual and I was thinking about an, an interview that I did years ago when I was working in advertising and I, I said, you know, in advertising it's there's never a rainy day. It's always a sunny day. Everything is beautiful. And that is such a lie uh, that's just forced down our throats every single day in advertising. And that's, I'm not going to get into that today. I don't want to like go off on a tangent about how advertising just completely lies to us every day, but it does. But in reality, like, we have these days that are like today, that are cloudy, that are dark, that are ugly sometimes. And this devotion that I was reading this morning, the title of it was, When You Worry, You Choose to Disobey Me and Not to Believe Me. And, and I, that kind of caught me off guard, and I was like, wait a minute, what, what is this guy talking about here? Like... What does this look like? So then it quotes this verse from Matthew. And let me just read it again. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. And then I'm just going to read this devotion because I really like what it says. And then we can chat about it a little bit. But it says, are you worried or afraid? Focusing on the future blinds you to the opportunities that my father brings into the immediate moment. I tell you, stop worrying about tomorrow and start trusting me. You may ask, with all the cares and troubles that fill my day, how am I supposed to stop worrying? Begin your day in my words, in the words of Jesus, right? And think on them throughout the day. As my promises and teachings fill your mind, they will seep into your heart. They will transform you and empower you they are the solid rock your faith can rely upon. They will reveal my will to you for each decision that you face. Interesting point. As you do my will, your faith will grow, and it will supplant your doubts and fears. Focus on the moment at hand. Set your mind on my words right now and act on them. Then my joy will fill your heart, and your joy will overflow. I mean, it's just kind of an interesting... And that was the end of the devotion, right? And then it has one more verse that we'll chat about in just a minute. But... It's really kind of an interesting thought and an interesting point, right? Like, if we are if we are worrying, we are disobeying and not believing Jesus, not believing the hope that he brings into our lives. And, you know, that might be a little extreme is one way to put it, but I kind of agree with that. I kind of like it, right? 
And I never thought about it that way. I was like, huh, that's an interesting way to think about this. Like, yes, worry seeps into our hearts. These dark days seep into our, our lives and into our moments. And yet when we, when we give that worry, that fear, that stress, that anxiety, that indecision, that uh, just fill in the blank there, just all of that stuff, when we give that to Jesus... It develops trust, right? It develops, yeah, I just want to say that. It develops trust. And it's hard for us to let go. Again, this is boiling down to surrender once again. And let me just read just a couple of things. So, with all the cares and the troubles that fill my day, how am I supposed to stop worrying? Excellent, excellent question. But when we begin our days in the Bible, when we begin our days in the words that Jesus has for us, the truths that he uh, gives us, that will set aside the anxiety, the fear, the stress, the worry, and bring us closer to him. Filling our hearts with his promises, filling our hearts with his teachings, um, filling our minds with all of that stuff. And then just let it seep into our hearts, right? Into our souls, into our minds. Um, his words are the solid rock that our faith can rely upon. Well, I mean, what a promise that is, right? As you do the will of God, your faith will grow and it will replace your fears, replace your doubts. Focus on the moment at hand. Set your mind on the words that Jesus gives us. And so, okay, so that, that let me just dive into that point for a minute because that word doubt, mm. you see, when we worry like this and we don't uh, trust him, and look, I'm guilty of this too, but when we worry on this, when we don't trust him, it fills us with doubt. And then our doubt seeps into our hearts and our souls and it changes the way that we think about all of it. And it changes our relationship with God, right? When we doubt him, we don't trust him. And then what happens to our faith? Our faith starts to waver. Our faith starts to shake. And that is something that I don't want to have happen. And the second verse in this little devotion uh, is from John 16, 33. It says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And look, um, we're talking about faith and we're talking about trust. We're talking about what that looks like. And yet... It's hard for us to practice it, right? It's hard for us to surrender to it. And, and, and Jesus tells us right, right there, like, hey, in this world you will have trouble. And we've certainly discussed this before. Like, we've absolutely had this conversation before on these videos when we talk about stress and worry and anxiety, I probably have quoted both of these verses, but I think as you dive into a new year, we're in January, right? As you dive into a new year, it's good to talk about these things again and bring this up again and re, you know, kind of refactor this in our, in our lives and in our, uh, our daily practices of our walk with Jesus. I don't know. I just wanted to bring this up again. Because worry, fear, stress, anxiety, doubt, indecision, all of this stuff chips away at our faith and chips away at our... Um, just chips away at our walk with Jesus. And it 
it's something we have to continually be reminded of every day. Like, we're going to have dark days. It's going to get ugly. It's going to hurt sometimes. There's going to be pain sometimes. And yet, our faith has to be unwavering through these struggles, through these, uh, just through all of this. And I, I, I don't know, it's maybe, maybe I'm overstating this, but I just wanted to bring this up because it's a good start. It's a good way to start a year. Just reminding ourselves, oh, this year, oh yeah, it's not always gonna be sunny, right? There are definitely gonna be rainy days. There are gonna be days that are just gonna hurt. There are days that are gonna be uh, filled with struggle. And yet, Jesus tells us, don't worry, right? Don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about today. Yes, there's gonna be pain, there's gonna be hurt. There will be troubles. But rest in me, rest in my words, rest in, my, in the comfort that I bring to your heart, to your soul. You know, take, what's that verse, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28? You know, my, my burden, cast your burdens upon me, for my yoke is easy. And we talked about that a lot, like just giving it to the Father. So that's kind of what I wanted to chat about today. It's kind of what I just wanted to bring up and remind myself and all of us about today. Like, this is something that we need to continually work at. Something that we need to continually remind ourselves about and say, right, 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 right. Oh yeah, today, dark day, tough day, gonna be a struggling, type of day, a struggly day, if that's a word. And yet I'm going to trust in Jesus. I'm going to trust in the words that he puts in front of me every morning when I open up the Bible, right? Make that a practice, a daily practice. Just letting his words seep into your heart and your soul. It's so hard. I was trying to do it this morning and I was like, what is going on? My mind was just racing and racing and racing. And I was like, my goodness, this is so hard. And that's just part of it. <laughs> and I hate it. And I want to do more and more and more. And yet the world just continues to pound at our doorstep and just say, no, 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 no. You don't need that. You don't need that. You know, just get sucked into the, you know, all of the junk we have to fight against it, fight against it, fight against it. So don't worry about tomorrow. Today's day has enough worries of its own. And focus, let Jesus just be part of your day. Let him be part of the solution. And just let him be part of everything in your life today. Okay? Um, in this world, we will have troubles. But he has come to overcome the world and the troubles that we have in it. Amen, guys. Man, it's good to just be out for a minute and just talk about this because uh, it's something we all struggle with. This is like a, I hope it's not getting too windy here. <laughs> I'm going to walk back this way. But it's something that we struggle with. We all struggle with every every single day. This is not something that's like Ah, this person doesn't have to deal with this, and this person does. No, this is something that every single one of us struggles with. It's a very universal uh, problem. And there is a very universal solution, and that solution is Jesus. So I just want to you know, encourage you today. The worry, the stress, the fear, the anxiety, the doubt that we all struggle with. Uh, know that you're not alone. And know that um, we're walking with you as a community, uh, but he is walking with you as well. So maybe, maybe today um, what we can do as a community building exercise is in the comments of this video, just write down, um, if you have a prayer request, put the prayer request. But maybe just, and if you, I can't be anonymous because you have to have a username, but Maybe just write what you struggle with. Do you struggle with fear? Do you struggle with doubt? You know, is this something that doesn't even bother you? You know, maybe that's something, I don't know, but it certainly bothers me and I struggle with it. So maybe do that. Maybe write in the comments what you're struggling with and we can just pray for you. 
as a community, right? Like, it's not just uh, me praying for you. Like, we've got people <laughs> in our community that want to pray for you. So, um, yeah, just do that. You know, prayer requests in the comments. Let's pray for you today. Let's pray through this together as a community and just be, uh, just be doing this together. So, um, okay, I'll put these two verses in the notes of this uh, video. But we're talking about Matthew and we're talking about um, a verse in John. All right, guys, uh, if you want to become part of our community, please do. Go over to joindavesband.com. We have people there together that are uh, praying for each, each and every one of us. Um, it's amazing how our people uh, come together and just pray for each other. It's humbling and awesome. So go there. Uh, the first couple of dollars of your donation, sorry, of your monthly membership goes straight to helping us sponsor a child. We've sponsored 18 kids so far. We want to sponsor more, and that's where you come in. So when you join us, you're helping us save a life. Uh, you also get access to devotions every day, video devotions every week, weekly Bible studies, a community that wants to pray with you and for you, and CDs, t-shirt, just a ton of stuff uh, that comes in your membership. So we want you to be part of this. And, and the, 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 really the, the reason that I started this membership was one, so we could build community, and two, so that I can do this more. This is a full-time ministry for me. This is all I do. And when you come on board, even if it's at one of those lower levels at $29 a month, that helps me move from point A to point B and tell more people about Jesus and see more lives changed in the name of Jesus. So join us. Joindaysband.com is the place to go. We'd love to have you with us. Um, and until the next one, guys, just dive into these verses in, in Matthew and John and let worry uh, take a back seat to the hope that Jesus brings into your life every single day. Okay, we'll see you on the next one.